Thank you, Mayor Rediger, Mr. Meyer, and council members. I do want to make a few introductions. I have some guests with me today. Um, I have our beloved volunteers, Dan and Maggie Makins, if you would stand, please. Also, Jamie Taylor, our Regional Emergency Services Director. Deb Amato, who is our Regional um, District uh, Recruitment <coughs> Manager for Blood Services. And Sarah Duro and her daughter. Sarah is our uh, Development Director. And I also want to thank and recognize um, Chief Rick Ennis, who uh, volunteers his time on our Board of Directors as well. Thank you, Rick. <laughs> Mayor Rediger, Mr. Meyer, <coughs> and council members. On a cold, late fall afternoon in southeast Missouri, Red Cross volunteer Jenny Smith <coughs> rushed to the scene of a multi-unit apartment fire. Three families had just lost everything they owned, and they were standing out on the street. A young firefighter turned to Jenny and said, isn't that sad? I wonder what will happen to them. Jenny replied, we're what happens next. Every disaster comes to a single horrible moment for one person. Every single day, we harness the best of a humanitarian spirit to carry out our mission. Your Red Cross shelters, feeds, and counsels victims of disasters. Last year, your Red Cross assisted over 600 children and family members who were left homeless due to a home fire. Your Red Cross supplies every hospital in southeast Missouri and nearly half of the nation's blood supply. Your Red Cross trained over 13,600 people in life-saving skills, CPR, first aid, and AED. Our vision is that one member of every family will be trained. Your Red Cross supports and provided 272 emergency connections for military members and their families. Your Red Cross depends on the 170 Southeast Missouri chapter volunteers who donated 21,034 hours last year. Our vision is that each community across Southeast Missouri has volunteers that are the Red Cross in their community. Your Red Cross is not a government agency. We rely on private donations of time, talent, money, and blood to do our work. We rely on the generosity and willingness of people and businesses to help others in need. 49% of our funding comes from individuals, businesses, Missouri Foundation for Health, and other civic groups. 7% of our funding comes from the United Way of Southeast Missouri and other United Way agencies and other sources. 16% is from our health and safety training courses. We are proud of the fact that 92 cents of every dollar the Red Cross spends goes to humanitarian services and programs. This is your Red Cross. We are honored to be a partner and of service in our Cape community. I want to leave you with a couple of dates, and Mayor Rediger mentioned the uh, upcoming earthquake drill on April 29th, and I know the city just uh, registered to participate as well. But I have a flyer for everyone to invite everyone on April 28th at 10.15 a.m. on Thursday morning, everyone to drop, cover, and hold for this um, Central U.S. shakeout. I also want to invite our council members and, and the community to our open house this Friday, April 20, uh, March 25th, from 10 to 2 um, at our blood donation center. I believe Mayor Rediger will be joining us. Thank you. Um, so I want to invite people to come out to, um, to visit with the Red Cross, learn how people might support and volunteer and participate in the Red Cross. So thank you again for the proclamation and, and time to share information about the Red Cross. Thank you all. Thank you, Sharon.